Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide, where today we're here at Paulton's Park. I haven't actually been at this park for like over a year, so I'm really glad to be back. Yeah, it's a fantastic family park with lots of different rides and attractions throughout a variety of different areas. Of course, Paulton's Park is famous for Peppa Pig World, but there's so much more here than just Peppa Pig, including the absolutely fantastic dinosaur themed area, Lost Kingdom, and of course, Tornado Springs, still the newest themed area here at the park with a fantastic variety of different rides and attractions. Last year they actually opened Farmyard Flyer. Charlotte's not done no, that yet. I need to get on it today. Yeah and of course we can share lots of on-ride POVs using our GoPro here as well. Just want to say a huge thank you to the park for providing us with that mission today and of course looking forward to getting back here. It's a really well presented park. One of my favourite family parks in the whole of the UK. So yeah let's go make our way inside. And of course down here at the main entrance you've got the awesome photo opportunity with the big Portons Park sign. I do love this. All the flowers down here. That's the thing at this park it's beautifully presented and also the celebrating 40 years this year of operation which is fantastic a huge milestone and this park's come a long way especially in the past 10 years or so I'd say it really was Peppa Pig world the May Portons Park the park that it is today in my opinion yeah let's go and make our way in park hours 10 a.m through until 5 inside the lovely landscape grounds here at Paulton's Park. Yeah, that's something I always really appreciate here. The gardens are lovely. Look at all the daffodils over here. How pretty is that? With Storm Chase over in the background there in Tornado Springs. Brilliant themed area. Yeah, looking forward to getting back inside there. And yeah, look at all these. Lovely. It makes a great photo opportunity. And we're going to be starting off our day here in Tornado Springs, walking down Route 83. I do love this themed area. It is my favourite here in the UK. There's so many details all around. The music, the planting, and of course Storm Chaser, the awesome Mack Ride spinning roller coaster running overhead just here. And the good thing is with this area, it's got lots of different attractions, including Farmyard Flyer, which is a little junior coaster down there at the back. And of course the Cyclinator, which is the big thrill ride that you can see over there, which is really nicely themed. Got the restaurant over there. Just this whole area is beautiful, isn't it? I think what I like with Paulton's is they keep everything looking like it's brand new, which is what parks should be doing. Yeah, like it's the third year now of this area. It looks brand new still. Yeah, it does. Like it's fantastic. If anything, it looks better with all the planting growing and all the landscaping, especially around Storm Chaser. And it will make that our first ride just over here. Also worth pointing out, Paul's Park have got a great camera policy. You can bring on your cameras with a chest mount, which is fantastic as long as your arms are secure. And here we go, front row. Hopefully we're going to be in for a dry day today. It looks a bit cloudy, maybe a little bit windy. But yeah, looking forward to this experience and everything the park has to offer. It's great here. It's a shame it's just such a long way for us to come down here. But it's always nice to come back to this park. And that's what makes it special for us because it's not close. We really appreciate it even more. Here we go. Hey. Woo! <laughs> oh, I love how you go over the area. Hey. Woo! Back right. Hey. Helix, Helix, Helix. Oh. Quite intense on the bottom there. Up into the S band. Hey. Close to the station. Woo! <laughs> And it's the brakes. Oh, it's a good ride, that. On ride footage there from Storm Chaser. Fantastic Mac family spinning coaster. It's a really good ride, that it's is. It's such a good fun ride, but in some parts it's really intense. It is. You don't expect it to be at first, but yeah, it's brilliant. And the theming on there is awesome. Like, there's so much to look at when you go around the ride, all the rock work they've got on there as well. And of course, the views over Tornado Springs are fantastic. Should we go on another coaster now? Yeah. New credit for Charlotte this one. It opened last year. It's Farmyard Flyer. So all look forward to getting back on the Cyclinator next as well. And yeah, I love the entrance to this ride. It's probably got the best entrance to a coaster in the UK, in my opinion. I actually have in the back of the plane just here. The theme sign at the top. Love it. Fantastic. All this theming around here. And that's the thing, even though it's a Saturday, it really doesn't get that busy in this part of the park. All Lost Kingdom on a morning, everybody goes straight to Pepper. So there's my big tip for you. I say this every time we come to Bolton's, but do the other rides first. Save Peppa Pig for in the afternoon, after lunch, because it is much quieter. That's where everybody tends to go first. And you really make the most of all these other rides. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, hey, well, Sean, it looks like we're flying this baby. <laughs> Great views of the Cyclonator from in the queue there as well. And here we go. Hey, great little family coaster. And again, lots of theme in underneath to look at. There's the crash plane down there. I like how, oh yeah, the propeller actually spins, which is really cool. Got all the dials and stuff here on the front. Hey, little pop of their time. <laughs> Not too much. Another plane down there. Whoa. <laughs> Love it. Really slows you down before coming through for your second lap though in the station. I wish it went through a little bit quicker. Yeah, what a great view. Looking over the area. Oh, get back on the cycle in next. Big thrill ride. The biggest thrill here at Palms, of course. Here we go, lap number two. Hey! <laughs> station we just did our ride there on farmyard flyer and yeah i do think that's a good fun little ride like i said i do wish it went through the station a bit faster for its second lap but you've got to think you've got storm chaser for the bigger thrills in this area nice little junior coaster and yeah i think it fits in really nicely around here with the themed area i love the theme on there it just looks so good There's just so much thoughts going into it which is nice you like the propeller <laughs> Good. Good yeah, it is. Yeah, nice little ride and compliments the area. Great. You've got Benji the dog just up there as well, who's looking out over Tornado Springs. Just so many little items everywhere. Like, so much to look at. And yeah, we're going on Cyclonator now. Looking forward to getting back on this. Nice big thrill ride. Here we go then on Cyclonator. Walk straight on. Yeah, 20 minutes here, we're on our third big ride already, fantastic. Always love the operations down here at Poulton's. And yeah, the sun's shining on Tornado Springs. Great ride there, Sam Bird, the Discovery. You get a long cycle on this as well, which is good. Sometimes these gyro swings, they kind of get going and then they stop a bit too soon. Whereas with this, you get a good cycle. Swinging over the air, we're really going to stop picking up the pace now. Hey, here we go. Great views over the area. Foamy old flyer. Hey! Woo! Hey! It still feels weird a few years on riding such a big ride at Pullens Park. I never thought we'd see him get something like this. Hey! Woo! You okay, Charlotte? <laughs> Woo! Wow, what a view. Pepper Pig World. into the sky oh. <laughs> oh. that's the thing it keeps on going great cycle Woo. wow look at that fantastic everywhere you look there's theme in this area it just keeps going you normally get about three big swings on these and then that's it but yeah not on this one <laughs> Whee! Oh, that was good. Really good cycle as well. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Great ride, that is. Well, we just did our ride there on the Cyclonator. It's absolutely brilliant, that is. And the cycle on there is awesome. And yeah, it's really quite forceful as well as you're swinging back and forward. I was doing okay on there. It's not too bad. But I had a man next to me that had a really funny laugh. He was making me laugh the whole way around. He was doing some really good impressions of like the announcements in he this area. Really he must visit it a lot. I loved it. He obviously loves Tornado Springs and so do we. It's a brilliant themed area. So Still my favourite in the UK, the level round here. And it makes me very excited for next year's new edition. Um, hopefully that's going to be heavy theme too and we'll talk about that when we get over to Lost Kingdom. Whilst we're here though we'll have a look at on Windmill Towers behind us. I love this. It's great and you get some awesome views as well. Storm Chaser over there. Looks amazing up here, doesn't it? And yeah, they've got two of these towers. Obviously, when it's busy, they'll open the other one as well. And you get a great view of Peppa Pig World over there as well. Oh, you see what I mean? That's the busy area, especially on the morning. Oh, look at this. Great observation ride. It's always nice to be back to this park. 
Buffalo Falls over there, the dinghy slides, trekking tractors down there as well. I'm sure we'll come back and get on those later on. Obviously prioritise getting on some of the bigger rides. We'll head over to Lost Kingdom next, get on the coasters down there. And of course, lots of other rides. Whoa! <laughs> We have so many like little details in here, like lots of little signs and theming, which is so good. And the train runs right through here as well. Whee! <laughs> Just got a lot of energy this area, so much movement and little things going on, like smoke effects in areas. You've got like lots of water effects going off as well. <laughs> oh, it's good that. Beautiful blue skies today here at Paltons Park, and some on ride footage there from Windmill Towers. Pretty forceful that is as well. I do love. Seeing Storm Chaser race over the area just here. Fantastic, it really is. And the landscaping is looking really good around here now. It's really grown nicely over the past, well, two and a half years since the area opens. Look at that. It's a gorgeous area, and it's one that's just going to keep getting better and better. You enjoy windmill? Oh, I really enjoy that. It's quite forceful, actually. <laughs> it's good, yeah, it's spinning around. I do like it. I think we're going to go down Lost Kingdom, aren't we now? Let's yeah, let's go make the most of it with some bigger rides down that area. And here we are down on the left side of the park now that's home to Lost Kingdom. And yeah, this is another brilliantly themed area, it really is. And yeah, we look around the corner here, two Vacoma roller coasters. Uh, both of them are awesome family rides. Again, with great theming, all the rocks around here, the landscaping. And yeah, brilliant area, opened in 2016 here at Paltons Park. And it will start off with Flight of the Pterosaur just over here. And over in the background, you can just see the lift hill for Velociraptor. Not Velocicoaster, Velociraptor. <laughs> oh, I've got to get that joke in again. Fantastic, great to be back here though. Do love this place, always got a really nice atmosphere. Oh, here it comes. Get a great view just here actually. Flight of the Pterosaur, let's go and have a ride. We timed that well just there. A flight of the terrace, oh, it's great on the front. Like you feel really kind of, you can see everything like when you're on here on the front, which is great. We're looking out over the park down there towards the bottom area, you got magma, you get on there, the edge, and also Cobra. Here we go, a bit of hang time. Get started off. <laughs> Woo! Whoa! <laughs> I love it on the front. Woo! Felix! <laughs> Woo! Above the station, and into another Helix! Helix! Woo! <laughs> oh! Woo! I'm breaking the station! Oh! Feel like you're gonna go for a second lap there, don't you? <laughs> Brilliant! I'm so glad we got on the front row there as well and it was just by chance I'm really pleased about that because it makes it being on the front of that ride. Honestly, that is such a good family coaster and when you're on the front you just feel so open. All the drops, the twists, the turns, of course the helix is over the area, fantastic and you get a great view over Lost Kingdom as well. Should we go and have a go on Velociraptor now? Yes, let's go. Here we go, let's give this a ride. <laughs> Hey, 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 straight onto our Velociraptor. And yeah, the longest you've waited so far was about five minutes for Flight of the Pterosaur. So many rides. You've got three coasts in this area as well. Don't forget Dino Chase down there. We'll get on that in a moment, show you that. Right on the back row. And here we go, station fly through. Nearly said Velocicoaster then. Velociraptor. Whoa. <laughs> I do prefer being on the back. I know if you're on the front you go up the spike further, but still think it's better on the back. Woo! Gotta watch out for them dinos around there. <laughs> that could we get you. Oh, it's a good ride that. I do like it. And of course you got like the head chopper effects here on the station, which adds to the atmosphere. On the ride. It's a really good fun Vacoma Boomerang Coaster Velociraptor. Yeah, I really enjoy that ride. And right next door, 
You got the little junior coaster dino chase. I love the train oh, design on this. So cute. I love the front of it. <laughs> it is great, isn't it? And all the landscaping around here has grown really nice since 2016. Yeah, look at this. There it comes. <laughs> we'll take you on with a POV. And up we go, you get a few laps around. And that's the great thing with this park. It's a good place to bring your kids if you want to build them up to go on bigger rides, because you can start off on some of the smaller coasters like this, and then really work your way up to the bigger rides. You got Cato Pillar over on the other side as well. Good little junior coaster. And that's the thing with like this, Farmyard Flyer, Caterpillar, go on those before going on the bigger rides, like Velociraptor, Flight of the Pterosaur, and of course, Storm Chaser. Hey, it's a good fun little ride this. I remember when it had no theme in before it was part of this area, because it existed before Lost Kingdom. And yeah, it fits in so much better now with all the theme in, all the rocks around, dinosaurs, and of course the great planting that Poland is famous for. The landscaping team always do a good job here, all the gardeners. Hey. <laughs> Whoa, you do get a bit of air there, don't you? <laughs> there we go. Oh, it's a really good fun little junior coaster that is. And that's the thing, three coasters in one area, which is fantastic for capacity. And yeah, of course you've got some other rides in Lost Kingdom as well, including the Dinosaur Torco, which we're going on over here now. Nice little car ride. I'll take us on a tour around those dinosaurs today, don't you worry. Oh, let's go and have a look. And I think we might see a bit of construction taking place on here for a new ride opening in 2024. Let's go and have a look. Here we go then, where are you taking us today, Charlotte? Right, the tour around the safari park here, boys. Safari, safari park? park? It's a dinosaur <laughs> safari park. <laughs> that makes no sense, but here we go, let's go see the diners, look at these. They're <laughs> the car at all times. Great music on here, and of course all the dinosaurs to see. And there's a blue fence on the right hand side. We'll show you more of this when we come off. Well, that's the location of a new ride. Oh! Coming to Lost Kingdom in 2024. <laughs> 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 oh, I got so squirted by the dino. <laughs> all down my leg, Charlotte. <laughs> I like all the tropical plants around here. This spring has been running now since the Cretaceous period. Baby raptor just hatching over there. What's around the corner? Oh, a bit of smoke here. Oh, there he is. Hey, are you going to get squirted now? Oh, <laughs> you're safe. I was expecting that. That's my mighty Miss Dino. Let's get out of here. Some on ride footage there from the Dinosaur Torco. Really nice family attraction. And right next door, splashing into Lost Kingdom in 2024, is a brand new ride. And yeah, looking forward to this. So they used to have Temple Heights, which was a flat ride here. And that did get rethemed into the area for 2016. But then it was actually an older ride before that. So it's probably come it's to nice the end of its bring life. Bringing some new rides into the park and retheming them into the area. So yeah, it was nice what it was, Temple Heights, just up there. But it was only a smaller attraction. And obviously, yeah, something brand Brand new is going to be coming in for next year in the early stages of construction at the moment uh, as you can see just here you know it's pretty much just groundwork and um, clearing the space ready for it um, yeah something new is coming in yeah it'd be really interesting to see hopefully it'll be a ride you know for kind of the whole family that everybody can enjoy yeah I don't know I mean the site's not massive so we'll see what happens maybe it's gonna be a flat ride yeah I don't know yeah it'd be interesting to see a flat ride with water effects or something or maybe like a twist and splash or something I don't know yeah we will find out. Hey, keep on riding. <laughs> the dinosaur's coming out over here now for the meet and greet. Hello, everyone. Oh, come on, I know it's morning, but we've got more energy than that. I said hello, everyone. Oh, fantastic, amazing. This is my friend Amber. Amber here is a T Rex. She is five years old. She's not fully grown yet. Did you know T Rex can grow to the size of a double decker? Bus. Oh, it's a beautiful day here at Poulton's. It is quite windy, but luckily the rides and attractions are open for us to enjoy. We're a little bit worried this morning when we looked at the forecast with the wind. Um, obviously, if they were closed, safety is always paramount. But yeah, I'm really pleased that we're getting everything in we today. We keep getting the odd gust, don't we? But not too much, which is good. Yeah, it's really nice. And that's the great thing here as well. You've got lots of chilled out areas uh, where you can come around and see the animals as well, like the flamingos that you've got over here. Not quite a few animals here at the park. Lots of birds um, in the lovely lovely landscaped gardens that you've got here in the former Poulton's estate area, a big mansion house effectively that used to be right here in the park and um, this is where the park is built to this day all around the former grounds of the Poulton's estate. 
Well, I've had a nice stroll through the lovely gardens of Poulton's Park. I'm a little bit peckish now, so we're going to grab some food here in Tornado Springs in the Route 83 Diner. Lots of themed food in here. You've got like the hot dogs, burgers, chicken, and yeah, lots of options available. And it's very nicely themed with this as well. And not just on the outside, but also on the inside. Route 83 Diner. Here's a little look at the menu in the Route 83 Diner. And yeah, this is the biggest restaurant on the park now. And it is fantastic in here because it's all themed up beautifully, as you'll see in just a moment. But yeah, as you can see, you've got a big selection of burgers just over there. And for a meal, of course, that comes with fries and a drink, 11 95 Hot dogs, the same just down here as well. And of course, up here on the right, you've got salads and chicken tenders, which of course I've gone for, 11 95 for the chicken tenders and uh, with a choice of soft drink. And yeah, there we go. That's a look at the chicken tenders, curly fries, and the drink just there as well. And yeah, I do like how it's all themed on here as well with the packaging and yeah it's great in here because you've got the main diner in that part and there's loads of extra seating in here as well and you've got a little jukebox yeah charlotte's just getting hers go on there's look at charlotte's what are you gone for there so i went for the loaded twister fries so it's got like beef chili onions and then some cheese as well yeah and how much was that i think it's like six pounds 35. yeah not too bad i mean the food here you do pay a bit more than some of the other parts but it's good quality stuff. I mean, look at that, the presentation, really nice. And here with all the theming as well. And you have plenty of seating. Well, I tell you what, that food was absolutely delicious. Really enjoyed that. My chili was really nice. I really enjoyed it. Loaded fries, but here we go. Wind's picking up a bit now. We're going for a ride around, let the food settle a bit on the Portons Railway just here. It's a nice views across the park. Yeah, especially straight through Tornado Springs here. Awesome music, of course, provided by Isla Score. Look at this. The best family park in the UK. To just get the ambience right, you know, it's like even on here, the fact this goes straight through the area and they painted up the train because they wanted it to fit in with Tornado Springs when it came through, even though it's technically not part of the area, you know, you don't load, the station isn't in Tornado Springs, you come through, but they painted the train up so it fits with the aesthetic of this area. It's all them little details, like the bits of track around, it's almost bike there. I do love it here. It makes me very excited for future developments. And I'm sure whatever they build for next year over in Lost Kingdom will be great. the train and there's our first look over into Peppa Pig World and yeah we'll be heading in there this afternoon don't you worry about that and that's the thing with this vlog it shows you how many channels there is here away from Peppa Pig that's what's made this park really famous and so many people still call it all oh, Peppa Pig World but it is Fulton's Park home of Peppa Pig World and there's so many other great attractions here has this vlog shown you oh, so much going on it's a great park it really is nice. yeah it's really nice and relaxing when it you come is. here as well it's a nice breakaway with other things isn't it? yeah it's definitely lovely. I always love coming down here and seeing this park shout out to the hedges as well always look great all these hedges <laughs> can't get them in every time Oh, really nice relaxing ride around there on the railroad, which is a fantastic ride. Yeah, it's about 10 minutes and takes you all around by the lake so you can see all the lovely landscaping and, of course, the themed area of Tornado Springs. Talking of themed areas, though, we're here into Critter Creek now. It's only a small little area, this, but it's very nice. Got a few animal experiences in the left just there as well. And, of course, you've got the little roller coaster over here. 
this is very nice all the colorful theming and that's the thing at this park it's refreshing coming here and seeing all vibrant themed areas instead of darker themes all the time and in fact a horror theme would go down quite well for an area here obviously i'm not talking full-on horror but like a family Sort of yeah, I think like a family ghost train would be good. Yeah, when I say horror, obviously I don't mean like full on terrify the kids, but just a nice light horror theme. Yeah, like a dark ride would be really good here. That is what this part needs now. Definitely a dark ride, something indoors. But yeah, we're going to have a go here now on the Cato Pillar. And we're off on the Cato Pillar. Just over here. Basically, it's a cat that looks like a caterpillar on the front. <laughs> Very colourful, vibrant ride. But yeah, there's another one that was here and then was rethemed into this little mini area. No any other sides, of course, as Peppa Pig World, Lost Kingdom, or Tornado Springs. But it's a nice little area. Got a few props around. Woo. Good little Sierra family coaster. Built some good rides, Sierra. Last a long time. Stay smooth. Got like a mini train ride over there as well. In this area. I love all the daffodils. So yeah, really nice time to come to the park and see all the daffodils. You get really close to the track here when you come down though. Hey. <laughs> Feel like you have to duck. Cato Pillar, yeah, it's a great ride that is. is. I do enjoy them coasters. I like it, it's good fun. You're making our way now down to the other side of the park to go and have a ride on Cobra. This is a Gerslar bobsleigh coaster. It's yeah, it's a great ride this is. Obviously we're down the end of the park now that's not particularly themed, but it's still nicely presented down here with all the planting. And everything gets painted up nicely, which is good. I do still hope they theme this end of the park at some point in the future, uh, but I think they will be. You know, the time will come for that. Obviously it's very hard for them from a marketing point of view. When you've got existing rides here and you just re-theme them, how do you kind of market that? You know, it's one of them, isn't it? Yeah, in terms of is it going to bring people in if you just theme them up when the rides that are already here and the way they'd have to do it is really go to town with the theming and put some new rides in to complement them as well. Uh, but hopefully they will do that at some point in the future. Yeah, it's going to have a ride on Cobra. And here's a look at the ride itself. It's a really good fun coaster, this is. Lots of tight turns, helixes and of course some lateral forces as well going into the corners on here. So yeah, it's going to take you on with the POV. It's Cobra. And off we go, leaving the station on Cobra. Biggest queue of the day though, waited well, just under 10 minutes I'd say. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was closed earlier on due to wind. Like I say, safety is always paramount at parks. But yeah, we've got on it. I didn't think we were going to, but yeah, the wind must have dropped enough for this to safely operate. So we're on, manufactured by Gerslauer. Yeah, how amazing would this be with all theming around it? Like a big structure in the middle here around the helix. Quite a steep drop this actually. Here we go. Good fun coaster this, nice layout. <laughs> Look how it throws you into the corners. Got the edge down there as well. Zamperla Disco. Oh, and the log flume over there as well. Which I'm sure we'll go on. <laughs> oh, I'm sure we will. There we go. Hey, hey Helix, Helix. <laughs> it's a long one. Woo, double Helix now and up points. Hey. <laughs> Guys, a good carry to this. Hey. <laughs> Whoa. Into the shed. Hey. <laughs> full of drops, full of Helixes. Hey. And daffodils at the moment. <laughs> There we go. Oh, it's a good ride, that. Really good. I really 
enjoy Cobra. I think it's a fantastic gear-style bobsled. I think there's some of the best family rides out there anyway, and the layout of this one's really good it's here. It's so much fun. It's got some great elements on that. Yeah, it'd be even better in the future if they can theme this area up. Feels like we're in a different part when you come down here. Like, there's no music, there's no theming around this area, but it does keep that Paul from presentation, so which is really in good. The future they can change it. Yeah, I hope so. I thought maybe by now they would have done something with this down here, but fingers crossed that'll be the next project after the 2024 ride in Lost Kingdom. I really would love to see them do something down I here. So. Yeah, really make it fit in better with the overall product. Anyway, going on the edge now, so I'll take you on there. <laughs> well, it's just started to absolutely throw it down here at Fulton's Park. We've done well with the weather so far today. And Charlotte's just taking a bit of shelter over there. And I've come on anyway here on the edge, because why not? May as well make the most of it. Ah! Always quite lucky when it comes to weather at Bolton's, and we've been doing well so far. But yeah, it's just starting to come in this afternoon. <laughs> Hopefully it's just a passing shower. Oh! <laughs> Even this is quite painful in the rain. So they're just hitting you in the face. But yeah, when you go on a lot of roller coasters in the rain, especially if you sat on the front row, then you really feel it. And yeah, it's the same here. When you come on something like this. But I thought, why not? <laughs> It's always good to get back to this part though and make the most of it. Whee! <laughs> We're gonna make it over? Whee! It's running better than Cobra down at Chessington anyway. Don't not to be confused with that Cobra. Obviously they've got one of these up at the disco in Chessington. Oh, it's cold, it's wet. <laughs> so check out our vlogs if you haven't already seen them from the opening of the Merlin Parks, of course. Now online here on Theme Park Worldwide. Oh, there we go, it's stopping now. A little passing shower. <laughs> I hope. Whoa! We'll go on magma surely as well. Hopefully it'll stop. We'll take cover for a minute and see if it does. Hey! The good fun rides these are. I do like them. Yeah, it'd be great with some theming down here. I'm on the edge. On the edge of glory. <laughs> oh, the sun's coming back out now. Typical British weather. Rain stopped, the sun's coming out. Charlotte gets the sunglasses back on. <laughs> I ride there on the edge where I got a little bit wet, but it was still worth going on there. And yeah, just around the corner here, we got magma. Yeah, sun's out. It's probably warm today, 14 degrees actually. But yeah, I think you made the right call there. I'm so glad that I didn't come on because I'd have got soaked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Let's go have a ride here on magma. SPF Visa, spinning drop tower. I say this every year and we come, but I love the lighting in here inside the volcano itself. Let's go and ride. Oi, and up we go. Blimey, that was a good boost start there, wasn't it? Hey. <laughs> and here we go. All the way up to the top. You get a great view looking over the park just here on Magma. Oi. <laughs> you get a funny feeling on this. <laughs> I do like how it spins around though, and you get some fantastic views. Kind of acts as a bit of an observation tower as well, because it spins. Whee! Yeah, you got the go-karts, of course, down there as well. They are an upcharge attraction, but they are in most places, aren't they, really, that have got go-karts. Cobra looks great from up here. Little dragon spinning ride, I'll have a go on that. Whee! <laughs> You get to see the lovely hedges from up here. Look at how straight they are. Perfection. I've never seen such a perfect hedge as here at Bolton's Park. Yeah, really good cycle on here as well, which is always good fun. Hey! <laughs> oh! <laughs> there we go. 
Good drop tower that is, and it's nice how it spins as well as it's dropping, so you get some great views. It's got a good feeling on that one, I quite like it. Yeah, it does. You get yeah. it in like your stomach yeah. when you drop. Yeah, a good bit of force on there. You wouldn't expect it from a tower like that, but that's the good thing with them SBF Visa ones. They're pretty good, aren't nice they? Nice long cycle as well, which is good. Got the log flume coming up in just a moment. Oh, the log flume. <laughs> hey, well, first, we've got on the little dragon here. It is a Paulton's classic. And we're off here on the Dragon Roundabout. <laughs> you start off by going forwards. Pretty fast this is, to be honest. Hey! <laughs> and Charlotte behind. I yeah. know. Oh, and you go backwards after as well. <laughs> really good. With all the same separate compartments on here. <laughs> you can hear the screens coming from behind. Not very comfortable if you're in with two of you on this. One of you will guarantee to get squashed. <laughs> <laughs> That's about a minute of going forwards and we're going backwards now. <laughs> it's not the most comfortable but it is a classic and it's so well looked after. You think it was a brand new ride. Like, look all the painted on here. Looks amazing grasping on just over here. <laughs> yeah it looks amazing. The presentation here. Beautiful. Oh it was good fun that was. It's quite intense as well with the spinning. I Enjoy that. I thought I was going to be sick. Have you not been on it before? I don't think I have. I don't remember it. I don't think I'll go on it again. Hey, it was good. Oh, I enjoyed it. <laughs> but yeah, you got lots of other rides in the park to enjoy. Quite a lot of flats. Of course, you've got Sky Swinger just over there as well. Great view looking back over into Lost Kingdom. And yeah, we've got the log flume just over here to go on. So we'll go and have a ride on that, shall we, Charlotte? Oh, uh, <laughs> thing is, it might only be a travelling flume ride, um, but it is painted up nice. Every year they repaint it and it looks really good. Like I say, it's another one that needs theming. I think a park of this scale now really needs a better major water ride. But still, uh, they've got it here at the park and they look after it. That's the main thing. It's the Raging River ride. Let's go on. And we're off. <laughs> Even if they spent the money and themed this, it would look better. But I think, to be honest, they're at the point now where it's not really worth spending the money on theming this. They should look at putting in a better major water ride. You never know what's going to open over there, but it's not a massive space. I don't think, think they could fit a bigger plume ride or something on there. Uh, I think it's going to be a bit smaller scale from the space that we can see. Space in the boat's out, and here we go. Whee! Oh! Ah! Oh! Soaks. Are you alright back there, Charlotte? I am soaked! <laughs> dripping, dripping. At least it's nice clean water on here, that's a good thing. Down it comes, watch out! Oh! <laughs> oh, I've missed this every winter. It's great to have the season back, it really is. We've already done lots already. And we're going to be heading out to France next week on a trip, which is going to be really exciting. We're going to be heading to Park Asterix to go and ride a brand new roller coaster called Tutatis and also some other parks as well. So stay tuned for that. Coming up next week on Theme Park Worldwide here on YouTube. There's the car park. Free parking here at Portland's as well. How it should be. Whoa! Ah! Oh my God. I am dripping. Absolutely dripping. I can't even hear Charlotte. Are you all right back there? That one didn't get me. Oh. <laughs> This is payback for all the times he sends me on log flumes. I'm going to say what you normally say now. That was absolutely disgusting. <laughs> That's my impression of you, Charlotte. You're yeah, soaked. It was good though, I enjoyed it. It's nicely painted up, you had a good view of the park. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm pretty wet right now. Let's go and continue with our day here at Portland's Park. Coming up shortly, have a big world. We're back in Tornado Springs then now. And yeah, I love the theme gift shop just here. Got the big truck, and here's a look at some of the items that they've got. got the hoodies, the t-shirt just there as well, with Storm Chaser on, $14.99, not too badly priced. And for $39.99, whoa, you can get this. It's a sausage dog. I do quite like that, yeah. Hot dog. <laughs> hey, he's massive. How does he feel to be a hot dog? Really yeah. happy, I think. Do you think so, yeah. <laughs> Loads of merch down here as well. You've got the caps just there. With the embroidered logo on. Really nice metal wall sign just there as well. Caps $8.99. Oh, and here's a look at Al's Auto Academy just here as well. The driving school that they've got. <laughs> it is fantastic round here. You know what makes this? The adults can go on as well and sit on the back just there. How cool is that? I do love it. Lots of theming round here as well. <laughs> it is great. Do you want to go, Charlotte? I want to go. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I love it. Absolutely brilliant, that is. It is, and great views up here. Probably the best views, actually, of Storm Chaser up here. So many little details in this area, like the traffic lights just up there, all the wires going across, which really add to it. And yeah, the positioning of everything was really thought about. Like the road just down here, and of course, Cyclonator down there at the bottom. And Farmyard was a really nice addition down there to kind of complete the area off as well, which is good to see. And it's nice to see them actually coming back to Lost Kingdom because there's been no new additions to that area since 2016 when it opened. So yeah, going back to that with next year and putting a ride in around there. Well, we just had another awesome ride over on Storm Chaser and he waited five minutes, even though it's in the middle of the afternoon. Crazy, like you get so many rides done here at Paltons, even on a weekend. And yeah, we're going on Buffalo Falls just here now. There's a great view looking over to Peppa Pig World. I'll be heading to in just a moment. Lots of build up for Peppa today. Let's hope the pig's worth it. I'm sure it will be. Love seeing Peppa Pig. And then of course, it's worth coming on here to get the great views over Tornado Springs. And of course, Storm Chaser there. I'll try and get a bit more footage further at the top before we go on Buffalo. Bye Charlotte, I'm gonna beat ya. There she is! Whoa, air time! Whoa. Whoa. I think we came down together. Hey. Well, I think we both came down the same speed there on Buffalo I Falls. I beat you, maybe just a tiny bit. Oh, you always got a win, haven't you, Charlotte? Always got a win. Well, there we go, Tornado Springs, fantastic as always. Here we are to what for many people is the main event at Paul's Park. Pig world and Here it is. And George over there. Oh, I like the little hats that they've got on. And hopefully this vlog shows you just how much there is to do here other than Peppa Pig. Of course, this is still the main draw for many people. We're in the park over five hours and not even stepped foot in this area yet. Until now. Yeah, it shows how much there is to do apart from this. Yeah, loads of people come here for this. A lot of people still see to it as just Peppa Pig world. But no, Paulton's Park has got so much else going for it. But of course, Pepper Pig is the main event for many people. Let's go and have a walk around. It really is a fantastic family area. Lots of theming, loads of rides in here as well. And now one of my favorites is the flying coach ride just over here. So we're gonna have a go just on here now. Yeah, you've got Grumpy Rabbit Sailing Club, little boat ride down there as well. But yeah, this is a nice aerial view across the area from on here. It's called the Queen's Flying Coach Ride because we've got Charlotte just here. My queen. <laughs> the cars are massive on this. So Huge. Welcome to my castle. Thank you, your majesty. <laughs> Would you like a little tour? Yes, please. <laughs> then off we go. Great views what over the area. I can see everything. Yes, one can see. Oh, Good ride. There she is, the <laughs> queen. Everyone. George's dinosaur ride over there. One of our favourites. Fantastic. It's still busy around here, but nowhere near as busy as it gets on the morning. Trust me, if you come in here, make the most of it. I understand that if you've got very excited kids, it might be hard it's to keep hard them away. Easy. They'll be like, we're gonna go Peppa Pig. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, we've not got kids yet, so we don't know that, but I can understand that's probably what it's like. We had our ride over there on the Queen's Flying Coach ride, and you got lots of smaller flat rides, tracked rides down here. It's really well themed and also landscapes. Like, look at how well they look after this park. Like, you look at CBB's land back at Alton Towers, and it's falling apart, I'll be honest, in lots of the areas where it's here. You know, it's so nicely maintained. Great, whereas this, they really keep the upkeep of everything looks nice and clean and fresh, which is nice to see. And this opened a few years before CBB's as well. Like, yeah, it's crazy. Like, it's really nice. Obviously, they've expanded it over the years because that whole section 
never used to be there over at the back and that was added in as a phase two project and I'm sure there'll be more pepper at some point in the future. Peppers. We're going on Peppa Pig's balloon ride now and I tell you what, it still seems strange looking over there and seeing Peppa Pig World and of course the Cyclonator, such a big thrilling flat ride at the back. Yeah, it's a nice area this is. We'll get a nice aerial view now from up here on the balloons. Here we are then, flying up high in the sky over Pulton's Park and of course Peppa Pig World as well. Whereas you can see all the different rides around in the area just here. You can even spin it round a little bit as well. It actually spins quite fast this does, here's all the balloons looking down over the area. Talking of spinning fast there's another ride over here that I really like, Windy Castle over there. Windy! <laughs> Castle! It's the name today, it's been windy. Windy, windy, it is really windy. Windy Castle just over there. But yeah, great view. I think the rain's going to come in soon, but we're into the last hour of the day shortly. Here at Palms, we've got loads of rides in. It's always a fantastic day here. I really, really like this park. I couldn't recommend a visit enough. I've been coming here for many years now. And I'll tell you what, what they've done recently, especially, has been fantastic. It's a fantastic park. Just, it really, like, the presentation is just fantastic. Everything looks so clean. Park's clean, it's just a really great place to visit. And every park we've done this season so far in the UK has had a ride down, hasn't it? It has, there's not been anything down today. Everything's, everything's up, and it's worth pointing out the open weekends during uh, before the main season, the open bits of Christmas, February half term, you know, so they have got winter openings, and still it's the main opening now, and everything's available. Like that's how a park should be. And straight round the corner from the balloons here on to Windy Castle. Let's go have a ride. Hey, here we go in time for a windy ride on Windy Castle. And oh, this, don't spin, spin it too in. fast. Oh, right, is that all right for you? That's I'll not the too off. well, thank you. <laughs> there you go, Windy Castle. What I love about the design of this ride is the fact that when they're loading up the other ones, you can still spin these, and when you're right at the top, even though one's loading at the bottom, the top one is doing this motion round. So it keeps it moving, keeps the kids That's entertained. That's really good. It's a very well designed ride. <laughs> It's a good ride this. Oh, look at Cyclonator over there. What a great theme flat. It's <laughs> so much fun this is. There's Pepper down there, going in. <laughs> windy Castle on a windy day at Poulton's Park. Right then, a fantastic ride there on Windy Castle. I'm going on George's dinosaur ride now, and I thought this was actually George, no, but apparently it's not. The dinosaur that George has. Oh right, okay. I thought the dinosaur was called George. <laughs> I'm clearly not a big enough fan of Peppa Pig, where there's only about five people waiting, so we'll go on. It gets very busy, this does, so we feel a bit guilty taking up seats on here. But uh, yeah, it's all right when it's nice and quiet. Enjoy. There she goes. Hey, bye. Enjoy your ride. <laughs> Well there we go, that's Peppa Pig World here at Portlands Park. Of course, loads of rides in there. Really nice themed area as well. And just next door, you got the penguins just here. Loads of other animal areas to see here at this park as well. And yeah, and all the lovely landscaping. There is also a few rides down the bank here that you wouldn't think are here actually, unless you come walking down here. But there's a little pirate ship, a teacups and a rocking tug down here. So we'll just show you those as well. And there's the pirate ship over here. So yeah, it's not really in a themed area, this section. What I would love to see him do is maybe relocate like the pirate ship here, possibly the teacups, and also the rocking tug, and put them in the other themed areas, or maybe make a new area out of them round here at the back, um, because as much as the well looks after, it just would be nice to see the whole park um, go down the themed area routes. But I'm sure we'll get there in the future. They've been doing that since Peppa Pig, every few years with new investments, and uh, yeah, it's really good to see. Anyway, we've been the last part of the day now here at Poulton, so going to do a few re-rides now. Uh, head over into Tornado Springs again, the best area here. Have a few laps around on some of the other rides, of course, Cyclonator, Storm Chaser, and a few other bits as well. Well, we've done some more re-rides and our day has come to an end here at Paulton's Park. It really has been absolutely fantastic. We're going to make our way now down to the gift shop, have a look in there, and we'll wrap up the vlog. But Tornado Springs, it's been lovely to see you again. And I'm sure we'll see you later on in 2023. And here we are in the huge shop at the exit to the park. I do like all the theming in here. You've got the clouds, all the rain coming down, the road through the middle. Yeah, you've got all your merch in here. Very nice shop. See, so you got an assortment of items here. 
with the logo on. You've got lots of plastic mugs there. Not a big fan of the plastic stuff. Yeah, key rings are quite nice there. Metal wall sign. Teddy bear is quite cute just up there as well. Of course, you've got all Peppa Pig merch in here. There is a shop in Peppa Pig World though as well that sells that. 12 99 is not too bad for the bear. Well, there we go. That wraps up our visit here to Paltons Park. We've had an absolutely fantastic day at what is our favourite family park in the country. It's brilliant here, it really is. We've had such a good day today. We've done so many rides, all the rides have been available, the staff have been fantastic. Overall, really enjoyed it. Presentation of this park is what really takes it to the next level for me here. You walk around, everything's painted up, it looks really fresh, really well maintained. Some of the rides that they've had here for years, and you can't tell, like, some of them are like 20, 30 years old. Like yeah, that's amazing, it really is. And of course, the newer areas always look great here. Uh, fantastic themed areas with Peppa Pig World, of course. Tornado Springs, our favourite uh, themed area in the UK. And Lost Kingdom's fantastic as well. Not forgetting Cobra's a brilliant roller coaster oh, down there at the Cobra. end. Great getting on Magma, Caterpillar. Oh, so many fantastic rides. It really is a fantastic park. And uh, yeah, I really enjoy getting back here. It really is one of my favourite days of the season so far 100%. coming back. You know, it's great how they allow on ride filming with the chest mount as well. We uh, it, yeah, it just you know it really shows the full park experience. We appreciate that Paltons really appreciate that. Uh, but honestly, it's been fantastic. Of course, Tornado Springs is always my highlight. Favorite ride, definitely got to be Cyclonator. What about you? Yeah, I really like Cobra. It's it is such good. a good ride. I really enjoy it. It is a great coaster, Cobra is. And of course, not forgetting Flight of the Pterosaur, Velociraptor. Uh, you yeah, know, Storm Chaser. It really is a great park. Lots of family attractions. And uh, the most we've waited all day has been less than 10 minutes. Like, like, that's really good. Amazing. We've probably knocked up over 30 rides here today, which is fantastic. So Absolutely brilliant day. Thanks to Paulton Thank for having so us. Much. And I'm sure we'll be back later in the year because they've got the 40th celebrations ongoing. They've got a trail opening up soon, so we'll probably come back and see that. Maybe come back later in the year um, for that as well. But uh, there we go. It's been absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much for joining us. And that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get, Get out there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding. We'll see you in the next vlog. <laughs>